Hi, Susan Leahy here from robertsrulesmadesimple.com. Why does teaching Robert's Rules of Order have to be so hard? The truth is, it doesn't. It can be simple. And I'm here to share with you three very simple tips about how to provide board training that really gets people engaged and learning Robert's Rules of Order. If you're in the midst of planning a retreat or having to provide Robert's Rules of Order training, then this video is for you. I'm going to share with you three simple tips to help your students get engaged and even have a little bit of fun when you teach Robert's Rules of Order. Try to find ways to connect Robert's Rules of Order to their future success. Now one of the ways that I do this in my training is to remind students that current student leaders are undoubtedly tomorrow's business leaders. And while learning the skill of Robert's Rules of Order today, will support them actually tomorrow when they take on roles on boards of directors, run for, for public office, or even start their own business. The reality is, if they can practice it here, they're going to be able to use it out there. So help student leaders by giving them the bigger picture. Connect Robert's Rules of Order to their future success. I've been training this information for lots of years and probably one of the biggest mistakes I find people make when teaching Robert's Rules of Order is they try to cram too much information in a very short period of time. So I'm going to encourage you to please slow down so that you can speed up. The reality is Robert's Rules of Order, it's a big book, over 700 pages. So where do you start? Well, I always say start with the basics. Share what I call the seven fundamental motions. Those are highlighted in my DVD, Robert's Rules Made Simple. So while you should introduce the seven fundamental motions, if you're doing a preliminary training at a student leadership retreat, spend time only going over the main motion, the amendment, and amend the amendment. Spend time making sure everyone in the room knows how to make those motions and how to vote on those motions. If you don't cram too much, people will actually learn the information and apply it in their next meeting. This stuff seems boring and hard to teach because we don't relate it to people's real life. It's fun when we're actually able to connect Robert's Rules of Order to our everyday lives. One of the examples that I actually use in my trainings when I'm working with student organizations and groups is really teaching student, student boards how they can use Robert's Rules of Order on a date. You see, once you understand Robert's Rules of Order formally, you can apply it informally to any space in your life where you're wanting to take action. So let's look at this example of using Robert's Rules of Order on a date. Let's say I walk over to my friend Nick and I say, Nick, would you like to go to lunch? And Nick looks at me and says, sure. What we have is we now have a main motion followed up with a second. Now the fun begins in the class when I help the students realize that there's a bunch of other little decisions that still need to be made. What are some of those decisions? Like, where are we going to go? Who's going to drive? What time are we going to go? Where are we eating? All of these other little decisions represent amendments. And I show the students how to make all of those little decisions in a uniform way using and relating it to Robert's Rules of Order. So if you want to find a way to make Robert's Rules of Order a little bit more fun, find clever, unique ways to relate it to everyday life. So to quickly sum up, Tip number one is give students the bigger picture. Connect why learning Robert's Rules of Order will support their future success. Tip number two, don't teach too much. Slow down to speed up. Introduce the seven fundamental motions, but then make sure everyone in the room understands how to make a main motion, an amendment, and amend the amendment. And finally, make it relatable and make it fun. Try to find situations in everyday life where you can relate and use Robert's Rules of Order to make this topic interesting and even fun. So if you're in the process of planning a student leadership retreat or need to provide any type of board training, robertsrulesmadesimple.com is here to be of service. 
Go to our site, sign up for our free videos, and then contact me directly to learn about my live trainings and interactive webinars. Again, my name is Susan Leahy, and happy meetings.